Hey guys, welcome back to Cityscape Brewing. I'm Dennis Fields, and today we're going to be talking about mash rest. Specifically, how long and is there a way to tell if you can shorten your mash rest time? Um, and it's important to know what's happening during your mash rest. And the short answer is it's converting the starches that are on your grains into sugars. And ultimately, your yeast is going to use those sugars to convert to alcohol during fermentation. And so it's really important to make sure that your mash uh, is done at a long enough time in order to let that, that uh, conversion from starches to sugars happen. And uh, I get asked sometimes about, is there a way to shorten that period? Or how do I know that, you know, it says 60 minutes, that's a typical time. Is there a way that maybe it's done in 45 minutes? Maybe it's done in 30 minutes. Maybe it's done, maybe it takes a little bit longer than 60 minutes. And the short answer is yes. And there's a test in order to uh, see if that conversion is done. And so I'm gonna take you through a step that I did during my all grain brew day. And if you haven't watched that, there's a link in the video description below about how to test using iodine at the beginning of your mash. I'm gonna show an example using the iodine of what that looks like. And then once those starches are converted, what it looks like using that iodine um, after the fact. And so if you're in a hurry during your brew day, you could test at say 45 minutes and if all looks good and your starches are converted, um, you can maybe shave off a few minutes or maybe uh, at 60 minute mark, you're seeing that your starches you know, could use a little bit longer. Well, then you can add an extra 10 minutes or something like that onto it to make sure that you're getting all those um, starches converted over to sugar. Okay, so here's a little bit of the mash fluid. It's a little bit of the starchy water that's in there. I pulled right away after I put this in here. And then I have a little bit of iodine tincture that I was able to just pick up at like Walgreens. And it's gonna show what this looks like when you drop it in here, um, if the starches have not yet been um, converted. So you're just gonna take this and drop it in there. And if you can see, the iodine is dark colored. See that? So it's, it's really dark. You can tell that it, it uh, um, you can tell that it's really turning dark in there. That means that there are starches present in this and the iodine isn't turning any colors. All right, so it's been an hour now about, and we're gonna check it to see if our starches have been fully converted into sugars. And the first time we did the iodine test, it actually turned a real purple, purple color. Um, if our starches have been completely converted into sugars, you might have a little bit of brown color, but it definitely should not be like a purple color, like an iodine color. So let's see what it looks like. We're gonna take a little drop in there. Okay, and I don't know if you guys can tell at home, uh, but you can see where the iodine drops in, but it's definitely not turning to like an iodine color, like a blue, it's staying like a brown color. And that's how you can tell that it's been converted to sugars. So when you mix it up here, you're not seeing any purplish colors uh, going in there. It's just all like a brown color. And that's just the, the tincture, you can see where it is, but definitely not uh, iodine color, like a purple, like an ink color. Um, and so I think our conversion is ready and we can start the Vorloff. All right, guys, I hope you learned something here. This is a cool trick that I uh, learned over the years to help tell when my mash is being uh, it was done being converted and help me shave off a few extra minutes here and there when I'm in a hurry during brew day. Uh, but the goal is just to become a better brewer. And so, you know, knowing the timeline that it takes for your specific system to make that conversion will help you uh, make better beer in the, out, in the long run. So I hope you learned something. As always, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Um, also, leave any comments, questions, concerns down in the comments section. I'll be doing my best to answer and get back to everybody. Uh, and as always, happy brewing.